in the book of Malachi, at a time when Israel was really backslidden, in a very bad condition, so bad that God was never going to send another prophet to Israel after this, till just before the coming of Christ. There were a lot of problems in families, and you read a lot about family relationships in the book of Malachi. One of the, the last verse itself in Malachi, Malachi 4.16, speaks about the danger of a drift between fathers and children. And uh, he says, when children drift away from their fathers, it is the father who is to blame. Malachi 4.6, he will restore not the hearts of the children first, the hearts of the fathers to the children, then the children of the father will be restored to the fathers. All parents must remember that. So it's our responsibility to bring up our children in a godly way so that they will follow the Lord when they grow up. And it says in Malachi chapter 2 in verse 15, I want to read from the margin of my Bible because these can be translated in slightly different ways. Why did he make them, that is husband and wife, why did he make them one? Because he wanted to have a godly offspring. So when God made Adam and Eve husband and wife and said they must be one flesh, the whole purpose was that they should bring up not offspring, any idiot can bring up offspring, but godly offspring. That's different. That takes a lot of pain and effort. So, we don't rejoice in just having children, but they must be godly children. And in every generation, we, are, we want our children and our grandchildren to live for God. Not just most of them, all of them.